multi skills video tutorial in this video tutorial we will learn how to install postgre on uh, windows so this is the list of step which we will be uh, performing on on installing the postgre sql on windows first step is downloading the executable second we will install the postgre sql from the binary or the executable that we have downloaded and in the third step we will access postgre sql using command prompt and pg admin 4 so let us start with the first step so what we are going to do is we are going to download uh, postgre sql so in your uh, uh, browser just search for download postgre sql and uh, you will see the first option downloads hyphen uh, postgre sql just click that and uh, we have to do it for windows so just click windows and uh, then the first option windows installer interactive uh, installer by enterprise dv so just uh, download the installer so here you can see that table which says the first one is postgre sql version then uh, which operating system it is uh, and uh, and and that's it so th we are going to go with the uh, latest version which is 12.3 the uh, other versions are 11.8 10 9 9.5 9.4 etc 9.3 is not uh, supported so uh, most of the time when we download uh, the binary or when we download some software we we get in touch with the application owner who instruct us like uh, which version of PostgreSQL has to be installed since this is a demo environment so I'm going with the latest version which is 12.3 so just click uh, so you can see this uh, download for Windows x86 64 just click that downloads and the download will start so I'm not going to do this because I've already uh, downloaded the uh, binary on my system so I'm just going to start with the installation so I have downloaded Postgre SQL 12 and we are going to install this on on my system. So it is a low, um, Windows uh, uh, laptop. So we are going to install on that. The installation is very, very easy. There is nothing great like any other software which we install on Windows. It is it is uh, like that only. So the tricky part will be when we are going to make some changes on it. So I'm waiting for uh, uh, the first screen to appear. So you can see that uh, setup PostgreSQL, welcome to PostgreSQL setup wizard. So just say next. And the first screen which comes up, it says the installation directory, the, uh, the location where all the data files will be located. So we'll go with the default location, which is C program files, PostgreSQL slash 12, just say next. And uh, there will be four options which will be uh, installed by default. The first is PostgreSQL database server. We are going with that. The second is PG Admin 4, which is a graphical tool for uh, for managing and uh, accessing your PostgreSQL uh, database and the server. Then we have something called as Stack Builder. If you download and install this, this will help you in installing uh, uh, additional tools, drivers, and applications. So this is good to have this. The fourth default option, which is which will be downloaded, is the command line tool like your pg base backup pg dump or pg restore so these will be installed by default so we let's go with all the default options first is a database server then pg admin tool which is a gui tool then is a stack builder which is uh, which we should include in case we wanted to have something extra downloaded later on so this is required so command line tools this will have all the command line uh, tools installed so just go with the next and please provide a password for database super user so this you have to remember this is the uh, database user which is postgre and this is a super user so i'm just giving some password make sure that you remember this because when after the installation for the first time when you uh, access your database you will need this password please select the port number so by default uh, postgre uh, sql um, works on 5432 port number uh, we'll go with the uh, default locale so this is fine 
just go next and you can see that there are a lot of things like installation directory uh, by default all the data files will be here and uh, c colon program files postgres sql 12 this is uh, uh, your uh, installation directory and uh, data directory is also same database is on port 5432 it is listening on this port port and database super user is postgre and rest of uh, and I, I think that that's more than sufficient just go with the next and uh, this is going to install postgre on the system this is going to take at least uh, 20 minutes for the for that time being i'm just going to pause this video so once it is installed i'll resume it and uh, then we will see how to access uh, postgre sql uh, database uh, using command line and pg admin 4. Welcome back. Uh, the installation has just finished. Uh, now you can see the final screen which says uh, completing the Postgre SQL uh, setup wizard. So I'll just press finish as the installation is finished now. So this is the stack builder screen which will appear in case you wanted to add some uh, some more drivers or features so you can use that. So just I'm saying cancel and uh, my installation is done so now uh, the next step is just go to your uh, windows screen and look for postgre so uh, this was postgre sql 12 so we are here and uh, you need to look for sql shell just click that and you will see a screen which says server local host yes we wanted to uh, log into the same host so it will be local host just press enter Database is Postgres, uh, which we Postgre, which we wanted to log in. Port is 5432, the default one. Username is Postgre, that is fine. And now it will prompt for the password. This is the same password which you have feed in earlier. So just uh, provide the password, and uh, you are on to the Postgre uh, SQL uh, uh, command prompt. So just say slash l, and this will list down all the databases or slash du this will list down all the uh, databases uh, sorry the roles which have been created and uh, now let's do one more thing uh, this this is how do we access using the command prompt in case you wanted to access it using the pg admin 4 just go to postgre sql uh, folder and uh, look for pg admin 4 this is the GUI uh, tool which is used to access your uh, 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 PostgreSQL. The management is very easy. Everything is there in the GUI mode. So it is it is good to have this handy. And so I have just clicked the PG admin 4 and this is uh, coming up. So this is management tool for PostgreSQL. And now you can see on the screen it is saying starting PG admin 4 server. So this should come up uh, any moment. So it is uh, appearing in the browser, localhost colon uh, 57414 slash browser. And uh, let me reset the mas master password for uh, uh, PG admin 4. So I've set in the password for uh, for PG admin master and now you will have to uh, connect to the Postgre SQL 12 which is installed on your local system so it is it is saying please enter the password for the user Postgre to connect to the server Postgre SQL 12 so just feed in the password 
and say OK. If everything is fine, then it will connect. You can see that uh, there are some things populated uh, downwards. Um, if you click the database, this will show that by default there is a PostgreSQL uh, database which is installed and owned by PostgreSQL rules. So this is created. And there are a lot of things uh, in some other tutorial we will see how to use it. But this is how do we connect to PostgreSQL uh, SQL using command prompt and uh, and um, PG admin GUI tool. So just a recap of what we have done. We have installed PostgreSQL on Windows. We downloaded the executable from uh, uh, from the uh, uh, from uh, Enterprise DB. Uh, we went with the uh, latest version which is 12 then we installed using uh, the PostgreSQL uh, install installer and then we access the PostgreSQL using the command prompt and PG admin for just you need to remember that the PostgreSQL uh, password which you have provided during the installation that you need to remember so that you can connect using the command command prompt and PG admin for so this is the basic of how do we install it on uh, Windows, but there are a lot of things apart from this. Uh, so in some other tutorial, we'll see how to work on those. For now, it is, uh, uh, it is bye from me and uh, see you in the next tutorial. I hope this is going to help and um, thanks for watching this.